if, if someone were to ask me if I had a theme for my work, I guess I would have to say it's, it's eclectic or uh, the, a, the group of it is, is really kind of a hodgepodge. There's so many different things that are just everything really is fun to paint, you know. I seem to get bored doing the same thing over and over again. And for some reason it's, it's just more fun or more challenging for me to go from thing, one thing to another to another. I like doing all different kinds of subjects and you know it's, it, every, every painting is a learning experience, always something new. The reason I like watercolor so much is because it really is the most fun medium that you can possibly work with. There's so, there's so much variety to it and challenges as well. I mean, some people might look at, at, look at it as too much of a challenge, but you know, the other side of the coin, it really is the most fun. Well, in watercolor, if you let yourself go and you know, not be worried about what it is going to turn out like then um, a lot of times it surprises you in a good way. And so then you go with that on your painting. You know, like maybe it's something you didn't mean to do, like a blob or a dot or something that might run or spread or something in watercolor called blossom. It's like a burst. And so those things happen kind of unexpectedly and you just have to go with it. And that's, you know, that's, that's the fun part. The technique I used in Salem is called an underpainting. Um, in this case, I first put down some pieces of tape, more or less random. And then you, I go in and uh, paint over the tape and then let it dry. And then I take the tape off. And there's some blobs of white that might look sort of odd, um, but then I just continue on with the painting as if the, you know, those spots weren't even there. It looks like splashes of light or, you know, sun gl the sun glinting off the water onto the, onto the sail, onto the boat, and so that technique worked for this painting. Color Block Cat this is also a type of underpainting, um, but you go in first uh, before you start anything and you make blocks of color on the paper. And then you can go in and draw the cat or whatever you're going to put there. And whenever you come to a block of color, um, you, you use the opposite color to continue painting with. And so that's why it gives it that technique, because you, you keep the color, the color blocks in place and you kind of superimpose almost the image or the cat over it. Poppies on Blue came about from a class I was taking last spring with Tom Owen. And he was talking about how you could do a painting with three primary colors. And so I thought, you can't do a painting with just those three colors. So I took on the challenge and I was quite surprised by the results. It was a lot of fun and I think it, I think it was a, turned out to be a success. Through, throughout the throughout a painting, while you're while I'm working on it, it's advisable to step back often, you know, to see because you can kind of zero in too much and get your nose down in it that you don't see. So uh, it's a you have to train yourself, I guess, to to step back and keep looking. But you, you kind of get a feeling like, oh, I'm starting to overwork this, so stop, you know. Or you would stop at least and leave the room and come back an hour later or the next day. 
but you have to kind of force yourself to stop tweaking it. <laughs> yeah.